Yeah. Uh, my name is Melissa Gilligan, and I'm a student at Radford University. Right. Um, so, and uh, Melissa, what is your major, and uh, what is your, um, what are you, are you, what is your year? Um, I'm actually a freshman, and um, as of right now, I want to be an elementary school teacher, so I'm going for education right now. That's great. So, yeah. Um, so, you uh, go to school here at Radford University, mm -hmm. is that correct? Yep. Great. And uh, you, um, what is your um, hometown? Um, actually, Northern Virginia, Sterling, area, like Loudoun County area. Great. So, yeah. And how long is the drive back home? It's so long. It's like four and a half hours. Oh. And I actually made the trip last weekend and it took like five and a half because of accidents and like, Ooh. yeah. I don't like the trip home at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, it's difficult at times, but. Great. And yeah. so when did you register to vote, Melissa? Um, my senior year in high school, um, in my history class, we had, um, I don't know, I guess she was from, like, the registering something. I don't know who she was actually, but she came in and she gave us, like, forms and everything and we all filled them out and then they sent us our voter card in the mail. So. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, are, and you are still registered to vote uh, where? Um, in Virginia, back home, Loudoun County. So like five hours away. So I should probably register here, do the absentee ballot thing in order to vote. Right. I, mean, I think the cutoff has been already you know, for, have they had, had that already? The cutoff for registering here? Is it? The cutoff for voter registration was October 6th. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, so, you, so, they would either have to do like uh, you know voting at home back at Loudoun County or do a uh, do an absentee ballot. Mm -hmm. But uh, so, how uh, like on a scale of like you know you know one to ten, like how determined are you uh, to vote in this election? How you know is it important to you? It's it's really important to me actually. Like, this is the most controversial I think like election that we've had in a long time. I think. I'm still like in the middle, like my family is also torn, like you know, of course like my mom and stuff wants McCain and then my brother, he's younger, he wants um, Obama and stuff, so I'm like in the middle, I think they both have really good um, aspects to them, but I'm just, I don't know, I'm kind of torn in between like which one to vote for, so that's why I'm, I was saying I might do the absentee ballot, but um, if I make my decision then I'll probably go home to vote. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Great. And do you have classes on that day, that Tuesday? Yes, I do. I only have two classes that day, though. So if I had to miss them, I could probably. But, but you'd have to be, you'd have to miss class in order to go and vote. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess like the most logical thing would be just to do the absentee ballot this time. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I mean, what, uh, what do you feel would make it like, uh, you know, ideal or make it, uh, uh, yeah, easier to uh, you know, to go on ahead and vote. I mean, are there like do you feel like there's like obstacles on the way to uh, you know, trying to vote at all? I mean, well, definitely where I have to vote. That's a, a, like the biggest obstacle. Being here so far away and red, have, being registered back at home, so that's like the biggest obstacle. Um, I mean, other than that, I don't really think so. I think that if I had registered here and everything. I don't think it really would have been too difficult to vote, you know, on campus and everything, so, uh -huh. yeah. Great. So. Um, all right, so, um, uh, I guess last question, couple of questions, like, why do you think it's important to vote in general, um, well, yeah, I, as an American? Yeah, well, I mean, it's the president, I mean, it's the biggest deal, I mean, we've had over the past years, we've had so many issues, oh, sorry, you know, like with September 11th and the war in Iraq, and like it's such a big deal. And I think that if we have a president that would make a difference, you know, then that would, or that would make a change, and that would make all the difference in our country. So I think mm -hmm. that it's a really big deal. Yeah. Okay. Um, so last question is, what would you tell a friend or like a family member if they said they didn't want to vote at all? I would tell them that when the time comes to choose the president, if they didn't like the decision, then oh well, because they didn't vote. <laughs> so if you have an opinion, then you should vote. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Thank Melissa. You. <laughs>